Tonight, the de Blasio administration is pushing back after a report critical of its anti-graffiti efforts. We're following this story live at 6 tonight. Our Tony Aiello in Long Island City with more on this. Tony? Dana, the de Blasio administration understandably sensitive to complaints that quality of life has diminished on his watch, and graffiti certainly a major quality of life concern. Now there's a new report out that says the time between the city receiving a graffiti complaint and cleaning up the graffiti has increased substantially. It's impossible to imagine New York City without graffiti, but many residents would prefer much less of it. I don't like that. I don't, like, I don't like that. Nobody's paying attention to anything anymore. Even when they call, they take too long to show up. Indeed, a new report is critical of response times for the Graffiti Free NYC program. City workers use solvent to dissolve and power spray to wash away graffiti. Three years ago, the average time between complaint and cleanup was 67 days. Last year, that grew to 114 days. Far too long for critics, including State Senator Tony Avella. The whole way to address graffiti is to paint over it or remove it immediately. You've got to go immediately. So that's totally unacceptable. It defeats the whole purpose of the program. The Independent Budget Office report says it appears frustrated building owners and neighbors are taking matters into their own hands. In 2011, 84% of graffiti complaints resulted in graffiti removal. But last year, that number dropped to 62%. Increasingly, when crews show up to paint over the graffiti, they find someone else has already done it. Graffiti Free NYC is run by the city's Economic Development Corporation. Anthony Hogarby is chief spokesman. The report says that wait times now top 100 days. Is that acceptable? It's not the most accurate way to look at how effective the program has been to look at those average response times. The EDC says graffiti removal teams cleaned up 6 million square feet last year compared to 4.3 million in 2014. They blame the increase in response times on graffiti in difficult to reach places. Those complaints can sit in the system for years. The city says the number of graffiti complaints received through the 311 system actually declined between 2011 and 2015, and the mayor's office is promising record funding for the graffiti free NYC program in the next fiscal year. Live in Long Island City, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Tony.